welcome to my video in this channel in this video i will solve arithmetic question which they asked in ub constable exam in 2022 here i will solve question 51 to 57 question 51 a train is running at a speed of 90 km per hour, crossing a platform which is double its length in 36 seconds. What is the length of the platform in meters? Here we need to find the length of the platform in meters, okay? So, let's assume that the length of the train is x meter. If the length of the train is x meter, in the portion it is given that the length of the platform is twice the length of the train. That is double the length of the, the train. So the length of the platform will be twice the length of the train. Length of the train is x, so it will be become twice x. So it is also given that the speed of the train is speed of the train is 90 km per hour. But it is given in km per hour. But in the question we need to find it in meters. So we need to convert it into meter per second. So in order to convert into meter per second, we need to multiply by 5 by 18. Whenever we convert kilometer per Per hour into meter per second we need to multiply by 5 8 by 18 so 90 as it is into 5 by 18 meter per second after solving this we will get 25 meter per second therefore time taken is equal to distance by by distance by speed we know that the formula speed is equal to distance by time therefore if you cross multiply time will become distance by speed so time taken is equal to distance. Distance. Distance is the length of the train plus the length of the platform. X is the length of the train plus two x is the length of the platform by by speed. Speed is twenty five, which is equal to thirty six. Thirty six already given in the question. It is a time taken by the train to cross its platform. Okay. So if you cross multiply x plus 2x is 3x 25 is 25 in the denominator and then 36 is 36 therefore we need to find this x x is actually the length of the train okay we need to find this x if it goes multiply this 25 if it goes to other side it will go to the numerator and this 3 if it go to the other side it will come it will go down it will go to the denominator therefore x is equal to 36 into 25 divided by 3 so if we cancel 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3 and 3 twelve are 36 so 12 so 12 into 25 is equal to 300 300 meter okay so x, what is x x is the length of the train x the length of the train which is 300 meter so we know that the length of the platform is twice the length of the train twice mean 2 2 x therefore 2 x is equal to 2 into 300 which is equal to 600 therefore the length of the platform is 600 but in the option but in the option uh, three, 600 is not given so the answer will be option D none of the above question 52 a car cover a distance of 816 km in 12 hour what is the speed of the car we know the formula speed is equal to distance by time okay Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is already given. Time is also already given. We only need to find the speed. We only need to find the speed. So speed is equal to distance by time. Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is 816. And then time is 12. So if we divide 816 by 12, we will get 68. Therefore, the answer is, the answer is option, option D, 68 km per hour. Question 53. A and B can do a piece of work in 20 days. B and C can do it in 60 days. If B alone can do it in 90 days, in what time will A and C do it together? This question can be solved by different method. You can solve it by LCA method also. So I, I already explained it here. So look carefully at the explanation. You will understand and you will get the answer. The answer is option B, 22.5 days. Look properly at this explanation. You will get it 22.5 days. Question 54. A product is sold at a profit of 10% for rupees 220. We need to find the cost of the price. If you use the unitary method, simple method, 
consider x is the cost of a price which is at 100 percent so in question we it says that the product is this product x is sold at 10 percent profit that means at 110 percent so selling price already given this selling price 220 is at 110 percent so if you divide x by 220 100 by 110 if you cross multiply x will remain here only and this 220 will go to the numerator so x will become 100 into 220 by 110 so if you minus this if you cancel this 10 and 10 and then 11 was 11 11 2 sa 22 and 2 in 200 is equal to 200 therefore the cost of this x is the cost of product <coughs> cost of the product is 200 okay cost price is 200 so 10 percent of this 200 is 10 percent of 200 is 20 okay this one cancel 20 down cancel 20 up cancel 20 10 is 20 so cost price is 200 and selling price is 220 we sell it at 10 percent profit that is 20 rupees profit 220 therefore cost price is 200 only question 55 the charges of higher car are rs 400 per kilometer for the fast 60 kilometer rupees 5 per kilometer for the next 60 kilometer and rupees 8 for every 5 kilometer for further journey if the balance money left over with Rohit is one foot of what he paid towards the charges of the higher car for traveling 320 kilometer how much money did he have initially with him so it is given charge for the first 60 kilometer is rupees 4 therefore 4 into 60 kilometer is it will become rupees 240 charge for the next for the second 60 km is 60 km into 5 rupees which is equal to 300 rupees and it is also given that rupees 8 is for every 5 km for for that journey that's mean 60 km plus 60 is 120 km okay total is 320 therefore for the next 200 km 200 plus 120 is 300 20 okay because total is 320 so for the next 200 kilometer is rupees 5 they charge for every 200 kilometer so the charge for one kilometer is 8 by 5 rupees okay therefore the charge for 200 kilometer will be 8 by 5 into 200 which is equal to rupees 320 therefore total charge will become 240 300 plus 300 plus 320 which is equal to 860 rupees because total is 320 kilometer therefore 60 plus 60 120 kilometer plus this 200 kilometer will become 320 kilometer therefore total charge will become 860 rupees so in the question it is given that balance balance left with rohit is one foot one foot of the total charge total charge is 860 therefore one foot of 860 which is equal to 215 rupees therefore initially he has money this one balan left with him is balan left with him is only 215 okay and the charge is 860 therefore initially he has money 1075 rupees this total charge plus this money left with him so therefore he has money at first only 1075 rupees so the correct answer is none of the above option d since it is not in the option question 15 if 75 percent of a number is y and 80 percent of a y is 60 then what is the number so let's assume that the number is x okay so it is it is given in the question that 75 percent of that number of x is y therefore y is equal to therefore y is equal to 75 percent of x 75 percent means 75 by 100 okay of mean into therefore y is equal to 75 percent of x therefore 
we need to find x we need to find the number x is equal to if equals multiply 100 will become will go up okay in the numerator 100 and then 75 it will go to the denominator down here so x is equal to 100 y by 75 also in the question is also given that 80 percent of y is equal to 60 so 80 percent mean 80 by 100 of y is equal to 60 if you cross multiply y is equal to 60 into 100 by 80 we need if you get 75 so we need to put the value of y okay value of y is 75 we already know so in equation one we get x is equal to 100 y by 75 so we need to put the value of y x is equal to 100 y y is 75 by 75 only so if you can start 75 by 75 you will get 100 so the correct answer is 100 option a Question 57. Raju purchased 3 dozen mangoes at rupees 10 per dozen. Another 2 dozen mangoes at rupees 15 per dozen. And 5 dozen mangoes at rupees 16 per dozen. We need to find the average cost per dozen of the mango purchase. So average will be equal to 3 dozen mangoes at the rate of 10 rupees. And then plus 2 dozen mangoes at the rate of 15 rupees. Plus 5 dozen mangoes at the rate of 16 rupees. Since we need to find the total average. And how many dozen total? Total dozen is 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. By total dozen, total dozen is 10, 10 dozen, okay? So if we add 3 into 10, if we multiply 3 to 10 is 30, plus 2 into 15 is 30, plus 5 into 16 is 80. So we will get 140 by 10, 140 by 10 is 14. So the correct answer is 14 option D. So this much only, thank you.